Hi everyone. Today I want to talk to you about a few rumors over women's rights in Islam. There has been many people who claim that women's rights in Islam are half of men's. They argue that in Islam, the dia or blood money of a woman is half that of a man. When a person is killed unintentionally, the person involved has to pay ransom to the victim's family. It's very simple. First of all, putting a price tag on each person and asserting how much they worth is a terrible thing to do, and it's very disrespectful for humanity. Dia is not for putting a price tag on each individual. It's a mechanism by which financial needs of the victim's family are provided. The second point is that restitution is to be paid when a person is killed unintentionally and the person involved has to make payment to the victim's next of kin. Think about it for one minute. A woman has lost her husband in an accident of sorts. Does it matter for him whether the amount of restitution stands at $25,000 or $50,000? Of course not. The person who receives the money is his wife. In Islamic lifestyle, it's men's duty to earn their family's livelihood. Because of that, when the man of a family is gone, there must be a financial compensation provided for his family. Receive knowledge of Islam from its primary and original sources.